fancy a ready meal after that tiring day? I'll run you through a quick to prepare frozen pizza meal with minimal preparation in less than 20 minutes from unpacking to the dinner table. I've chosen my favorite thin crust Philly cheese steak pizza and with detailed instructions at the back, that helped a ton. First off, I tore off the packaging and ensured I got the plastic wrap and bottom cardboard off this piece of deliciousness. I then preheated my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. During preheat, I utilized that time to set my pizza on an oven tray. After the preheat beep from the oven, it was time to get this pizza through the oven door and wait for those 15 agonizing minutes until dinner. I did leave it in for an extra couple of minutes as I wanted the cheese to be a nice golden brown. It was time to take it out of the oven and there you have it. Delicious Philly steak pizza in exactly 20 minutes flat. Hey folks, so after a while of cooking the pizza for about 17 minutes, I put it for a little extra between 15 and 17 and I just let it sit for an additional minute because, you know, I'm taking it out of the oven and I opened the oven to just check on it and I guess some little bit of heat, you know, was let out. So I put it in for 17 minutes and added plus one minute extra. So a total of 18 minutes for this pizza, this delicious pizza, which I've been having, wait, just waiting to try. Okay, so this is the one I'm reviewing today. It's called Sam's Choice Thin Crust Philly Cheese Steak Pizza. And that's what it looks like. It's, it's gorgeous, seriously. It's so delicious on the cover. And I really couldn't wait to actually, you know, just pick this up from the store and get it in the oven and start eating it. Okay, so here it is. This is a beautiful, which piece should I start? So this is what I have right here. It looks fantastic. Hopefully none of the pieces fall. That's what it looks like right now. Okay, so I am going to start off with, uh, let's see, let's, let's start off with this slice of pizza. Looks so delicious. Look at, look at the Philly cheese steak. So good. So good. Let me just have my first bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. It really is. The pieces of meat, the steak, is is just wow. It's just mind blowing. Mmm. It's really good. You know, and even the cheese is just melted perfectly with the steak. Um. I the thing is, when I was cooking this pizza, I had to make sure. That the crust would not burn at the sides, uh, so I was kept checking it. Lucky for me that my oven has a light. I know some ovens don't have a light, you know, where you can actually check it. Uh, so you probably would have to open it, but then again, that lets out the heat, and then you know, your pizza may not be the best tasting, or might not turn out the way you want it. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good, so good. And what I like about, all right, so it's called Sam's Choice. It's the first time I'm reviewing this um, pizza. But what I like about Sam's Choice is they just put the right amount of, you know, uh, pieces of steak in it. It's not too many and it's not too little. Okay, just the right amount of steak. As you can see, there's still steak on my, but look, 
I wanted to, you know, make note that at the, even at the end, there's the steak pieces. Sometimes, you know, I've eaten pizzas in the past, and you just don't get enough of, uh, you know, steak in it. Mmm. It's really good. So the ingredients of this pizza are cream cheese sauce, cold milk mozzarella, provolone cheeses, sliced beef, green peppers, and caramelized onions. Uh, what I've just noticed is I'm not getting the taste of the green peppers. It's very mild. Maybe it's, it was intentional. But usually green peppers should stand out as far as steak is concerned. You know, you want everything to stand out. You know, you just don't want to see an ingredient on here and you just don't taste it. What I also cannot taste is the um, caramelized onions. Usually when onions are caramelized, it does stand out. But unfortunately over here I'm not tasting it. Um, but maybe, um, you know, just somewhere around, maybe it didn't really add too many. A lot of people don't appreciate onions, uh, whether they're caramelized or they're half cooked or maybe they're raw. A lot of people don't like onions. So maybe that's really a good fit for them. So again, maybe it was intentional. But I think, um, I, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, to have another slice of it. Hmm. Hmm. The steak is standing up. You know, it's like the star of the show. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, <clears throat> it has to be the star of the show because it's a Philly cheese steak pizza. And that's what's the best deal about the whole thing is that it says on the tin, I mean, it does just that, get what it says. It says it was a Philly cheese steak pizza, and it is. I'm getting the, the you know, the steak as the uh, star of the, of the pizza, <clears throat> which should be. Mm. Slide hint of, excuse me when I'm talking and <laughs> eating at the same time, but obviously to do a review, I have to. The slight hint of the pepper at right now, just slight hint. I'm gonna try another slice, guys. I have to. I really want to get the taste of the caramelized onions. For me, caramelized onions are one of the best things about it. You know, having them in a in a dish or in a pizza. The cheese is excellent. The mozzarella cheese, fantastic, and also the provolone cheese, fantastic. I'm going to tell you, so I'm getting the flavor of both. I'm trying to see what else. Um, creamy cheese sauce, yes. Absolutely. That was the flavor that was coming through. I think the creamy cheese sauce is overpowering the caramelized onions. Or, uh, you know, like I said, maybe done intentionally because uh, some people don't prefer onions. You know, they don't want their bread smelling really bad and you know, after eating an onion. But whether it's caramelized or it's raw or it's like half baked or half cooked or medium, whatever you call it. Yeah, and, I mean, I, I totally understand that. But, um, I think maybe it's done in, you know, I'm, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt to, you know, Sam's choice that maybe they put less onions in it because, you know, people don't appreciate that too much. And I'm going to get my final bite before I end this video um, of this beautiful piece of steak here. As you can see, nice two pieces of steak. I'm just going to get one. Also, what I noticed is, you know, you're not getting that extra saltiness from this pizza. It's not coming out for us like too salty. Sometimes pizzas could be salty, the crust could be a little bit salty. But this would just flavor it so well, you know. And I'm not getting that kind of extra over, you know, just like a whole bunch of salt everywhere and then just the right amount of salt. And it's that kind of pizza, once you start eating it, you don't get bored of it. You want to have the next slice and the next slice. I'm going to finish this pizza because I know for a fact I'm not going to get bored of it bite you take um, it's like wow you want some more and more that's what I like about a pizza if I feel like it's repetition and you're just eating it to finish it and the dough starts um, you know the crust rather it starts getting rubber like kind of rubbery I don't like that kind of thing and you know then it starts getting cold and you just it's a whole mess but this one is fantastic so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed my review 
This is the. I would buy this again. Definitely the other store. You just go back there. Sam's Choice, Thin Crust, Philly Cheese, Steak Pizza, and this is the one to get. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you found it useful, or you know, you want to check it out, Sam's Choice, Thin Crust, Philly Cheese, Steak Pizza. Go ahead. You know, um, you be the best judge. Um, I liked it. I buy it again. Um, you know, if you like it and you buy it and you enjoy it, you know, just leave it in the comments below. I really love reading comments and whether you liked it or not, or maybe it's a yay or a nay. But this one is definitely a yay. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Until next time, you take care and hope to speak to you soon in my next video. Bye for now. Take care.